Okay, let's start out with another, I hope, logical case. Uh, what you can appreciate from the screen is that there is a piece of muscle that's getting bigger and bigger. And pretty soon we'll realize striations on this muscle and the fact that uh, the nuclei are located centrally rather than peripherally and there are cross branching fibers so that makes this myocardium. It's fairly good myocardium. However, when you get to the edge of it, which is supposed to have a fairly thin layer of visceral pericardium, you see a thickened layer. And in the thickened layer, you see a lot of uh, engorged blood vessels. And you see a lot of acute and chronic inflammatory cells within this pericardial layer. In addition to that, you see some little pieces of granular fibrinoid material as well as the dilated vessels and the infiltrates of cells and the edema which you can recognize as our old friend fibrin and here's a nice chunk of it and here's a nice chunk of it this is a fibrinous pericarditis please note that as we move closer to the actual myocardial fibers in which you can appreciate, I hope, striations. Can you see the striations or can I only see the striations? With the fairly squared off centrally located nuclei, that the myocardium itself is fairly uninvolved. So this is a primary pericardial inflammation. And let's talk about some of the common things that might cause something like this. Well, probably statistically the most common thing is uremia because people with long-standing renal failure will have a uh, fibrinous pericarditis. Also, some of the viruses that cause primary inflammation in myocardium, like the Coxsackie B viruses, also like to attack the pericardium as well, either uh, separately or uh, with the heart uh, myocardium. Uh, the so-called rheumatic diseases like rheumatic fever, lupus, they're also very, very good at um, uh, infecting pericardium. Also remember that patients that receive uh, radiation to the chest may uh, deserve some pericardius, uh, pericarditis as well. And I think that's all we want to say about this case, so thank you very much.